All right, everyone, since my last video, there have been some crazy new developments in Bex IQ Mix and Match, starting with a 412 point unofficial teamwork record set by XG Team 7755, a four bar variant of the 180 mech, and a crazy new robot design that can get 219 points by themselves. And some more, all in this month's Vex IQ Roundup. First, let's talk about this 412 point unofficial teamwork record, which was done in XG's practice run posted onto Billy Billy and Red Note, which it's actually two very, very normal 180s, as we can see here. It's basically no changes, no special mechanisms compared to his robots uh, from the previous competitions. And one really interesting thing uh, is true teamwork, where they drop off this red preload pin here um, so that the other team can use it later on in their route. And we can also see that throughout this match, um, they do make some mistakes, which kind of goes to show how incredibly insane this routing is. And, you know, before we all have always seen like the generic route of robots only doing one stack of three colors, like all of their um, stacking is done independently. They're not handing off pins at all to the other team. So um, this is really, really unique and probably like the first time we've seen this. And... Um, this route and this strategy um, gets us two more three colored uh, stacks. As we can see here, they're basically going for those middle stacks now. Um, yeah, and they do manage to get three of them, which gets us more than 20 extra points. Um, and as you can see, they're just maximizing their last few scores here and ending the match with 412 points which is like really crazy that is the current world record so again this 412 point route is completely new and super super optimized for these three colored stacks for that like 10 point uh point bonus and if you guys want to check out a full route with steps completely breaking down this 412 point run so that you guys can practice it and show to your alliance partner check out the second link in the description next up we've got a variant of the popular 180 mech so team 2202 zero a i think they were um one of the teams to experiment with this kind of four bar flip um as you can see it works pretty similarly to a two bar 180 mech but for the first couple of seconds it's going straight up so um i mean this might have a couple of advantages for example for the standoff goal if you want to do a 121 point stat this is um, going to be easier for tuning um but yeah there's not a lot of upsides to compared to like a normal 180 mech but it is pretty cool it's really unique and they do also use a double wrist four bar for their lift which i think is pretty cool i mean it's kind of a rare lift we haven't really seen any this season um it's a really compact lift as well as you can see um only takes up a few holes of space and it goes really high as well so this bot is really really unique and they also do have an aligner for their standoff goal and we'll actually be talking about aligners a lot more in this video later on. Next up, the main focus of this video, a new crazy robot design out of China can get 219 points in solo teamwork. That's one robot by itself. And this is only with using one beam, by the way. So it's not, you know, cheating using two beams at all. So let's start this video. Basically, um, this backpack kind of robot, um, is actually kind of like a 180 mech, except it has three claws, as you can see here, um, it has three separate stages. So the bottom basically acts as an aligner, so it can move up and down to hand it off to the second stage. Um, and as you can see, the second stage, it can score on that standoff goal. Um, and it also performs the actual 180 rotation. Um, and they basically work together, handing it off to each other um, for normal sacks. And they can all move by themselves, which really allows for consistency in stacking. And this really allows you to keep stacking while you have things in your backpack, right? Um, when you were when they were beam stacking earlier in the video, you could see that their bottom, their first stage claw could do a lot of other things if they wanted to. Um, which basically speeds the entire matchup and allows you to do a lot more movements. And also, in the end, you see a really, really unique movement here. Um, they have a red pin in their second stage claw right here. And then they have like a normal two color stack down there. And we can see that when they go in the triangle goal, they put the third stack in. And they actually use their second stage claw 
to put that red pin down. And this is really a really, really big breakthrough in Vax IQ um, for this season because um, one of the biggest problems with three colored stacks is that it takes really long to, you know, uh, get that routing across, especially with the loader loaders um, on the opposite sides of the field. And the fact that this robot can basically edit already pre-existing stacks um, without wasting any time at all. I mean, they did that in le less than half a second. I wonder what kind of like doors it will open for future scores. And I think, you know, definitely if there were two types of these robots, competing together in the final um of like a china competition or something 434 points is not that far of a reach and it's definitely possible now i won't get into the super specific details about how this robot works you know like um the amount of pneumatics on it the motors and all of that but if you guys get this video to 100 likes and show that you really want to know how this robot works i will drop a full in-depth um explanation now for some small but still extremely groundbreaking improvements, a 237 point and a 229 point Auton. Uh, the 237 point is unofficial. Both videos are linked in the description. Uh, these Autons both go for that 201 point route where um, a 110 point stack is done on the standoff goal and then a normal 91 point stack and then some extra stacks in the matching colored goals. We can also see that right now, Two teams from the top 10 in the middle school um, IQ category do have that 229 point um, autonomous coding skills. And we have four more teams in the elementary school category. Super crazy. Um, as we can see here, four teams lined up straight in a row, 229 points of autonomous. Um, and they are all from West China with all of this like lowercase organization name. Same for middle school, they're all from West China. So it really makes me believe that these are all from the same org and they're probably running similar autonomous paths to get this 229 point autonomous run. Next up, we have some new standoff goal and 91 point cactus liners um, from 3722U. Um, so this has really been one of the most challenging parts of the game. Uh, getting those cactus beams stacked on without anything falling over and i think these aligners these flip out aligners especially because they save a bunch of space and are really compact um it is i think going to be in the meta really really soon so we've seen these aligners some of them are powered by a string connected to the lift some of them are piston powered um in my opinion i think piston powered is going to be more consistent but you know it's up to you they both work in the same way. And we can see a demonstration of how it works here. So it does work for both one pin and two pin stacks. And you can see it just goes on perfectly. Um, there's no shake at all. There's no risk of anything falling over. And we can see from the setup here that all you have to do is just put it out and drive backwards into uh, this base stack here. And you can just drop that beam on with no worries at all. And next up this month, we also had our very first Vex IQ signature event happen, Show Me Gateway in St. Louis, Missouri, where we had multiple of our Capitan Alliance members attend, including Team 5491M Happy Hippo, who ended up winning the competition with 335 points. We also saw a new US record in this competition, 376 points from 81777W and 9933X. And recently, we also saw another world record broken in skills of driver by 81777A, Spicy Noodles from Magic Kid Cupertino Robotics, uh, with a driver skills of 280 points. Super, super high scoring. Incredibly crazy. Um, I think the second highest is 260 by a Chinese team. So, so it's a pretty big gap. And you know, I wonder when this is going to be broken. Lastly, China's first national competition is just around the corner on December 4th to 7th. So make sure you are watching out for videos on our channel because this is often when the most crazy matches, the most crazy strategies, and the most crazy designs are unveiled with all of these top Chinese teams competing for that spot at the World Championship. Anyways, that's all for today. So if you enjoyed this month's roundup, make sure to like and subscribe. You can join our Discord server in the description to get access to lots of assistance, community, and inspiration from other teams.
Check my pants, they say true man. They say true man. Blue pants, blue pants, blue pants.